Good afternoon. We're here in New Heritage Way in the village of North Chaley, which is about six miles east of uh, the town of Haywards Heath and about five, six miles uh, west of Uckfield. Um, North Chaley is a small village um, on the A272, A275 crossroads, but rather unusually, this development here, this was built on the site of the old part of the old, what, what was called the New Heritage, hence it's called New Heritage Way, which was part of the Chaley Heritage Schools and Hospital. Um, but basically, this development is in the middle of nowhere. It's rather unusual to find something like this because we are very rural here. We're actually adjoining woodland, and actually, the residents have their own private woodland walkways, and you're adjoining Chaley Common Nature Reserve. So, if you want to live in a really more modern house but you want to live out in the country then this is the one for you because this really is a lovely spot out here so come and have a look now the house we're going to show you is number 44 which is hidden away off this driver this is by no means a main road it just goes around the corner to a to a end of a cul-de-sac um, but as you can see loads of room so none of them are on particularly big plots but you've got lots of ground lots of place for the children to go and play and run so lots of space there so come and have a look um, now, this, this development was built, oh, I think, around about 20 years ago by Taylor Wimpy. Um, I must say, even back then, I've been doing this job a long time, and I couldn't believe they got planning permission to build this development back then. Um, but it was what they call a brownfield site, and they certainly maximised it, and it's a, it's a really lovely addition, and very popular for, with those sort of people that actually do want a more modern house, but don't want to live in a big town or on a very large, overdeveloped village. I'm not quite sure how many properties are here. I think there's about 70 of them in total. Um, but don't quite hold me to that. But like all these managed complexes where you've got play areas and greens and woodland, you all pay an estate charge, and I think here they pay around about 350 to 400 pounds a year. So, number 44, it's actually offered for sale with vacant possession, so there's no onward chain. Um, come and have a look around. One thing just to note, the garage has been partially converted into like a breakfast room, um, so it's only got a little bit of storage space in there, but as you can see, you've got parking out here. Firstly, whilst we're in the front garden, Got a pretty little landscape front garden. The back garden's very pretty as well. And you've got a side gate there, little bench. This side of the house, we're actually west facing. So the sun sets over this side. And then come inside. So lovely entrance hall with a tiled floor. Obviously the stairs going upstairs. And then let's have a look around. So you've got the main living room. Pretty room with a bay window. That's looking back over the front. I think the owners have replaced these windows. These look like much more modern windows. I think they were timber frame before. And then the kitchen breakfast room at the back. Nicely fitted again. This must have been refitted. This wouldn't have been the original. I did see these houses when they were new. Handy understairs cupboard there. Plenty of storage. And then you had the rear lobby. Well, obviously the doors into the back garden and a cloakroom. Great big cloakroom, that could have been a utility room in, in itself. And then this is what have been a door into the garage. So this is, as I could show you, it's been sort of semi-converted into a utility room, come breakfast room, dining room, whatever you want to use it as. So lots of flexibility. And then that is what is left of the garage. So again, utility appliances out here, but good for storage. I mean, most of us don't actually want to put uh, cars in garages anyway. They just want to... Um, you know, put junk in there, but they're good for the wheelie bins and bicycles and stuff like that. So that's the ground floor. And then come upstairs. Good news, there's no chain. Now, schools wise, your nearest schools, you've got various schools within the area. Um, you've got primary schools uh, in Chaley Green, which is just south of North Chaley, Newick, or even up at Dane Hill, you've got several options here. And children from this area go to, to Chaley Secondary School, which is down in South Chaley, just to confuse you with all these Chaleys. And they catch a school bus from uh, not far from here. That's the outlook for the front from the main bedroom. So a nice sized double bedroom. Plenty of fitted wardrobes in this one. This, then you've got an ensuite shower room. House is all very clean and tidy, absolutely ready to move into. So if you're keen to move into something without too much hassle, Another handy cupboard there with all the uh, hot water tank in it. And then going round as they flow. One bedroom there. Nice size double again. I always hate showing people around houses when they've got empty rooms because empty rooms don't feel big. Look at the measurements and then compare it with your size of a bed. You'll suddenly realise, actually, that will take a double bed and a lot more besides. Family bathroom, again, spotlessly clean. I like this big deep bay window here. Nice big shelf. And then the back bedroom, I think this is the smallest of them. 
still a nice size. I mean, it's a big single. It's, it's a big single or, or a small double. And again, overlooking the rear garden. It would have been really nice to actually show you around the entire development and actually all the little areas. You can see you've got countryside just through that way. I do a lot of running and uh, dog walking and this area is absolutely lovely. For those who want to be outside, you've got everything on your doorstep. And then that's the other bedroom. As you can see, they've got a big recess there for wardrobe if you want it. And again, that one's overlooking the front as well. So that's the inside. Let me show you how in the back garden. Now, if you're a commuter or need to jump on the train, your nearest train station, I mean, there's not much in it, but Haywards Heath is actually, according to Google Maps, is 6.1 miles. And Haywards Heath, you've got a very fast rail service to London. So you get to London Bridge, Victoria uh, in 45 minutes. So you've also got the Thameslink service there, which is handy. Um, although you also got a station in Upfield, which is about six miles to the east. So back garden, nice size. We're predominantly east facing. It's slightly swinging um, south. And all very pretty. Lovely little garden. Those of you that are keen growers, this is very good. And all enclosed by a side gate, so if you've got a dog, they can't get out. And beautifully laid out with lots of shrubs and hedges. This must, I mean, it looks very nice at this time of year. Must be lovely in the summer. And then a handy little shed on the side for extra storage. But there you go. That is number 44 New Heritage Way. It's for sale with no onward chain. If you'd like to have a look at it, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Newick on 01825 722288. Thanks for watching.